Hello everyone, I'm Jonathan Little, and today I want to share with you my thoughts on one of the key hands from the 2018 World Series of Poker main event final table. Now, to set up this hand, we are playing 10-handed. The official final table is 9, but, you know, 10's still pretty great. And let's just take a look. Here we have Mannion, who, you know, seems like a reasonable player, opens to 2.5 big blinds from under the gun. We're playing 300,000, 600,000 with a 100,000 ante. And he makes it 1.5 million with pocket aces. That's what you want to see in a poker tournament. Now it folds around to Labot, who, again, seem to be reasonable. Really, all these players are reasonable. None of them are absurd. And he decides to just call with kings. Now, this may look a little bit suspect. Um, usually people want to be three betting with their best hands. But playing 10-handed, I know there's only nine at this table, but it's 10-handed. There's Joe Cotta at the table as well. Um, in this scenario, with 10 players at the table facing an under-the-gun raise, you probably want to call with your whole range. Because if you 3-bet anything, your range looks super strong, and then that lets the initial raiser only get all in with very strong hands as well. So I actually like this call a lot. Um, notice there are also no obvious short stacks. I do understand we have Zobian and Metalidi here, both with about um, 25 or 26 big blinds, but that's not necessarily super short, and neither of these players is overly concerned with going out next. So now, gets thrown to Zhu, who decides to go all in for 40 big blinds. That's not what we were expecting. So, um, with Pocket Kings, do you actually want to jam for 40 big blinds? I don't think so, because whenever you make it 40 big blinds, what's going to happen is both of your opponents are going to fold unless they have very strong hands. And how does Kings do against very strong hands? Well, it's still fine. I mean, you lose to aces, you beat queens. If they decide to hero call with jacks, that's great. Um, and Ace-King may decide to call as well. So it's probably going to be okay just because Kings is such a good hand. But in general, I think you're much going to be much better off calling or re-raising normally. That way, Mannion can then jam with pocket jacks or even call your three-bet with pocket jacks or pocket tens. Whenever you make it all in, though, he just has to play pretty straightforwardly. So it's going to fold back around to Mannion who is also going to go all in because he has aces. Whenever your opponent makes it 24 million, it doesn't really matter if you call or shove. I think both players are fine. I would typically just shove at this point given the stack sizes, but we're going to discuss that more in the future. Now it's round to Labot. Now, some people think Labot should actually fold his kings. So when should he fold his kings? Well, the main time he should fold his kings are when he is very convinced that Zhu would only do this with aces and kings and that Mannion would only do this with aces or kings. The problem, though, is that Zhu would probably shove ace-king in this spot as well. And again, if, if the players are shoving more than exactly aces and kings, kings becomes perfectly fine. And also, Mannion's probably shoving more than aces and kings as well. Imagine Mannion has pocket queens. Is he really just folding here? Maybe. I don't know. Probably not. If he has ace-king, maybe he'll fold. The thing is, though, is that you never really know. Like, clearly he's always calling with aces. Probably always calling with kings, but probably always calling with queens and um, ace-king a decent chunk of the time. And for all we know, maybe Mannion decides to lose his mind and calls with tens for some reason. Um, so I think Mannion's range is more than just aces and kings, and I think Zhu's range is more than just aces and kings. And if that's the case, Labot has a very easy call. I know a lot of people think, oh man, but he was against aces this time. It doesn't really matter. Um, so I think he has to get it in. I'm actually going to be hosting... A, an exclusive webinar on August 2nd at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 6 p.m. Pacific, where I'm going to go through the math behind this point and show you how much Labot is either winning or losing based on his call. But it's a bit of a spoiler. The only time you can really fold here is if you are very convinced that specifically Mannion has exactly aces or kings. And I understand this is the World Series of Poker made even final table, but the payout structure for this exact tournament is very normal. In the past, um, 10th place would get something like, I believe, $650,000, and 10th, a ninth would get a million, and then eighth would get a million point one, right? So there's a giant payout jump from 10 to 9. Also, there was plenty of time to study during the November 9 break, because they would go back and resume in November, but in, this time, they resume the very next day. So there really is no actual benefit of making the final nine besides being able to say you made the final nine, which isn't really worth much money. So given this is just a normal tournament situation, I think Labot has a very easy all-in. And like I said, we're going to discuss 
a few more concepts pertaining to this in that exclusive webinar on August 2nd at 9 p.m. Eastern. If you want more information about this, definitely check out the link below there. You can figure out how to sign up for the webinar. And I'm looking forward to it. We're actually gonna go through 41 hands from this World Series of Poker final table. There was a lot of action, a lot of great play, a few interesting plays that I'm actually gonna consider adding to my arsenal that I learned. And it's a lot of fun. Um, we're, we're gonna go through situations where players maybe could have played a little bit differently, spots where they could have perhaps conserved some chips or straight up not gone broke. And I'm looking forward to it. So again, you can sign up. All the information is below. I hope to see you there.